I was watching the video this morning by Aya Cantavad. Hello there, Andy again. It's a, the one on cannibalism. I think he posted a couple of days ago, but I've only just seen it. Uh, about cannibalism, as I say. And there are some interesting things about that, because we, um, we do associate cannibalism with the worst aspects of kind of depraved brutality, don't we? In the West, and in, well, I'm generalising the West now, but generally we do say that, don't we? And, um, you know, when we come across serial killers or something like that, that have engaged in cannibalism, we, we have a kind of special place in, in the hell of our imaginations for those people, don't we? Uh, but there's nothing, but it's, it's, but it's quite odd that, because, and we say that they're like animals, don't we? We, 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 um, we pseudo-speciate them quite a lot of the time and say these cannibals are like, these cannibals are animals. But the thing that's there is that um, most cannibal, most uh, I beg your pardon, most animals, or a lot of animals at least, aren't cannibals. Certainly, a lot of mammals aren't. I know there are exceptions. Crocodiles, for example, male crocodiles will cannibalise their own young, and a lot of other kind of insects will cannibalise one another. But generally, animals um, animals don't eat their own kind. You know, even the dead of their own kind. You know, if if a uh, an old wolf dies, its body is not consumed by the rest of the wolf pack. Uh, so, so, to that extent, you know, the restricting itself to the, just to the own kind thing, cannibalism is, I think, is pretty much the norm, at least, for lots and lots of animals. Uh, so, so, in, so what I'm saying there is that all animals, are, no, no, that's an overgeneralization, a lot of animals have taboos against cannibalism, eating their own kind it's not something that you are educated into it's it's kind of natural for a lot of animals so I don't think there's any reason to suppose that that's not the same for us um, I don't think feral children would turn into cannibals um, doesn't seem to be any evidence for that now what's um, what's kind of different about us I think is that we apply that kind of logic apply that taboo talk about that taboo, give that taboo a kind of philosophical underpinning to do with human rights um, and then decide whether to apply it to other animals. Because clearly no other animals does that. It doesn't eat the reason why uh, an animal would not eat another animal, a kind of a carnivorous animal, is not the same reason why it would not eat one of its own kind. Uh, my dog, for example, would not eat a mole because moles taste horrible. But I'm pretty sure that Phoebe would not eat a dead dog because she has a taboo against uh, eating her own kind. Whereas, of course, she eats rabbits all the time, or she would if she could catch them, and she's too old for that now. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So the, the idea that we as humans are special because we don't cannibalise, and those of us that do cannibalise are no longer human, we're pseudo-speciated into being animals, I think it's kind of wrong. Um, we have this, as I say, remarkable capacity to project our own, um, project that, that rationalised philosophical version of a taboo against eating our own kind onto other animals by empathising with other animals, by formulating logics like Bentham's dictate about uh, asking whether they suffer or not, so we don't eat animals because they are capable of suffering. Actually, I'm kind of arguing myself against my veg. I've been a vegetarian for nearly 30 years. <laughs> and every time I argue about it, I find reasons not to be. But never mind. Uh, so that's one thing. And the other thing, of course, is that, um, is that I suspect, again, like other animals, although I may be wrong here, we are capable of educating ourselves into cannibalism. There are cannibal nations, or there have been cannibal tribes, cannibal, yeah, cannibal individuals, but socially constructed cannibals. There's a really nice passage in um, a book by Kioran, is that how it's pronounced? Koiran, Kioran? I don't know, from the early 70s. It's one of these, a trouble with being born kind of books, a set of aphorisms. But one of those, uh, one of the paragraphs in there talks about, you know, what, what can be lost with, um, with certain kinds of religious conversion. And it talks about this chap who is a, a South American Indian from a tribe of cannibals who was converted to... Roman Catholicism and uh, as a result of that he he mourns the loss of his cannibalism because he's no longer a cannibal of course 
which means that his body really regrets and mourns the fact that his body will be eaten by worms in the ground rather than being respectfully consumed by his children. He's kind of civilised out of that process and through that proce the process of being a cannibal and um, in that process of civilization, loses an awful lot, he feels. Something deeply, you might call spiritual almost. So that's the other thing, you know, not only can we educate ourselves to extend the franchise of what constitutes cannibalism to other animals, I wouldn't eat my dog, um, but I wouldn't, but I probably wouldn't, well I wouldn't eat any animal because I'm a vegetarian. I've extended the franchise. Not only are we capable of doing that, but we're capable of, through an educational process, of pulling the franchise in and saying, yes, well, we can cannibalise one another. You know, I don't, as I said, I don't think animals are capable of doing that. Um, is it strange for a strange land, the Robert Hind line novel, where um, he's a, he gets consumed at the end in a kind of loving act of of uh, renewal for the population, for his community. Yeah. See, I wouldn't mind cannibalism. I wouldn't mind that if it was, if it was uh, built into the system. I think it'd be great. I would love to be eaten. I would love to be eaten by my own children at some point. I mean, you'd have to do the quite a complicated process of uh, education, wouldn't you? But to build that into society in quite a complicated way. But I think it would be great. You know, at a certain point, I'd just... Um, either die naturally or kill myself before I go all stringy and grisly and, um, and uh, respectfully and delightfully consumed by the people who love me or loved me and that I've cared for. I think it would be great, I would love that. In fact I might try and put that in my will. I was going to get a field burial until I discovered they were even more ecologically unsound than normal burials. Anyway. Uh, I think I'd live for now. Cannibalism. Yeah. Voluntary cannibalism, I think, is great.